What? How? Excuse me, please. Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the Dentist Saad channel. My name is Future Dentist Saad and today we're doing something absolutely amazing. Something you never expected. Minds will be blown today. Eyes will be opened to things that you didn't even know. But they were right there in front of you this whole time. Okay, that's it. Enough with the extreme intros. Uh, today we are here to bust some dental myths. So I'm gonna line it up search of some myths about dentistry and right now we're gonna go through them and we're gonna learn more about what happened. And I'm telling you stay till the end of the videos because some of these you're gonna be like what? How? Excuse me? Please. So yeah, some of them are going to shock you. Myth number one. If you have lost a permanent tooth, put it in milk. So I read through this and it says, if your permanent tooth actually falls out, you're supposed to basically put it in milk and that helps it stay alive for a bit longer while you rush to the dentist to try and get it uh, put back into your mouth. Because once you lose your permanent teeth, there are no other teeth. So you gotta take care of your permanent teeth. If it falls out, put it in milk and rush to the dentist. Oh, and he also said, make sure you don't touch the root of the tooth because once you do that, you basically messed it up. Just chuck it away at that point. <laughs> Next myth. Number two, if you have lost or broken a crown, you can fix it with super glue. Now I wonder, is this true? Is it not? Well, let me tell you straight up, the answer is no. Do not fix your teeth with super glue if they break. That is the worst thing you can do. Let me explain why. That tooth might have fallen out because of a caries that was present there. And by super gluing it back on, you're basically hiding the caries and let it grow even further in your teeth, which can cause all sorts of problems. So the best thing to do is take it directly to the dentist and try to get it fixed up. Also, super glue wasn't meant to be used inside your mouth or even on your body anywhere. So using super glue, it can cause so many types of inflammations and other sort of problems, which you really do not want to be dealing with. So please do not use super glue if the crown of your tooth breaks. <laughs> Next myth. Myth number three. The teeth are the hardest substance in the body. This is true. Uh, it's because your teeth have a certain crystal structure uh, made up of hydroxyapatite crystals. Now, these crystals are known for how strong they are and how resistant they are, obviously, because you're biting on bones or you're eating meat or you're eating some biscuits and all that sort of stuff. Your teeth need to be able to withstand that. So, your teeth are made of hydroxyapatite, the strongest substance in your body. And you know when you brush your teeth and the tooth has fluoride in it? Yeah? Basically, hydroxyapatite crystals can become fluoroxyapatite crystals because of fluoride in the toothpaste. This makes them even stronger and more resistant to caries and breaking and all that sort of stuff. So brush your teeth, it's good for you. And yes, it is the strongest substance in the body. Next myth. Myth number four. Every person has their own unique tongue and tooth print. Hmm. I actually found this out myself. I didn't know that this was a thing. But apparently you have a unique tooth and tongue print, which is why whenever you watch those criminal shows, they're always looking for the person's teeth or nails or something like that to identify them because every person has unique teeth. Next myth. Myth number five. Keep your toothbrush six feet away from the toilet because of poop particles. Is it true or is it not? You have three seconds to decide. One, two, three. The answer is it's true. You're supposed to keep your toothbrush six feet away from the toilet. Otherwise, you know when you flush, right? Those poop particles are flying around and they're gonna be in your brush and you're gonna get loads of bacteria and all sorts of stuff uh, in that toothbrush, which you, which you do not want when you're trying to use it to clean your teeth at least. <laughs> Next myth. Myth number six says, your primary teeth start being formed after you are born. This is false which I can guarantee because I've just done my pediatrics exam. And you know what we learned? We learned that even before you're born in the embryonic phase, there are 20 tooth buds that are created. And these 20 tooth buds eventually become the 20 primary teeth. So the, uh, so the development of teeth actually starts before you're even born or before you're even fully formed. It's a bit mad when you think about it that way, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I think that myth has been busted. Next. 
point. Myth number seven states, the harder you brush, the cleaner your teeth get. This is actually false, especially if you're using a medium or a hard uh, toothbrush. Brushing your teeth too hard and too fast can cause abrasion of the outer layer, which is the enamel. And uh, that means basically that you have a narrow enamel, meaning that it's easier for bacteria to get into your teeth and it's easier for a caries to spread into your teeth. So it's actually doing the opposite effect. What we need to really be doing is using a soft toothbrush and brushing for the set amount of time. I forgot how many minutes it is exactly now, but um, I'll put it up here. And make sure you use floss because even though you brush and you might think my teeth look really clean, there's always some food particles that are between your teeth in narrow places that you wouldn't even expect them to be in, places that brushes can never get to. So you need to make sure that you use a floss to clean that out as well. Otherwise, you could get into proximal caries, which is uh, basically a caries in the middle of two teeth which you can't really see unless you get an x-ray and then by then it's already too late because you've already got the carriage and then some of your tooth structure is gonna have to be destroyed and you don't really want that you want to make sure that you have your natural teeth for as long as possible and keep them as healthy as possible next myth myth number eight brushing your teeth is a new thing that has started this is false because 7,000 years ago the Arabs used to use a twig from the Salvidora persica tree this was called the miswak, where a person would chew on one side of the twig leading to bristles forming and then they would brush their teeth with the bristle side of the twig. And recent scientific discovery has found that it actually had antibacterial properties. So brushing your teeth is not a new thing, it's been going on since mankind can remember. Next myth. Myth number nine, caries cannot be transmitted. This is actually false. You didn't expect that, did you? Caries can be transmitted, but there's a little twist to it. What caries actually is, is a lesion of the tooth, which is just a breakdown of tooth structure. So the actual breakdown can't be transmitted, but the bacteria that causes the breakdown or the bacteria that causes the caries can be transmitted. This is normally seen in mothers that chew their food and then uh, hand it to their babies to eat. Bacteria such as Streptococcus mutans can be transmitted from the mother's mouth to the child uh, which later on increases the child's chance of developing a caries. So parents need to really think about whether it's worth uh, chewing food and giving, to, giving it to the child or whether the child should eventually uh, learn to chew for themselves. Next myth. Myth number 10. Now this is a bit of a crazy one. The myth is dentistry started at barber shops. Now, is it true or is it not? I'll give you three seconds to answer. One, two, three. The answer is this is actually true. Didn't expect that, did you? So before the 19th century, uh, barbers used to carry out their normal tasks of giving people haircuts. But along with that, they would carry out some basic dental procedures, such as extraction of teeth. And there's so many pictures and everything when you actually search up on Google. Let me just pop some on here. Bop, 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 bop. When I found this out, I was shocked, but it did actually start off in barber shops. And then eventually after that, uh, they specialized it. They learned how to do uh, things more specifically in a certain sort of way. And then it became more and more and more complicated. And then uh, science was involved until eventually dentistry became its own profession completely separate from barbers. So that was a really, really, really interesting video to film. When I thought of doing this video, I wasn't expecting quite a few of these. And then I saw them and I'm like, damn, I did not expect uh, some mad myths like that to be true or to be false. I had so much fun making this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching just as much as I did making it. If you haven't seen my uh, day in the life study saw sort of vlog, I'll put it somewhere here at the end of the video. So just click on that and check it out. And if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe right now! Hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers this year and I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And uh, that's it from me. My name is Future Inside and I'll see you guys in the next video.